One, two, three, four. A limited. Do you kiss on the first date? When it's good, girl. No. <laughs> what do you think about that? Do you kiss on the first date? Think she's a prude. Versus bad girl? Kiss on the first date is almost a must. It's a must? Almost a must. <laughs> she's gay. I'm here to play. Now that's a limit date. Say something intelligent. Be imaginative. Don't call that lip at me. How about that? Three get the ax, one gets the date. Kideji may come off as a prude, but she's the biggest freak there is. It all starts now. A limit date. <laughs> I'm Kelly and I'm a teacher. I would say teaching helps me out with the ladies. When I tell them I teach, they, they know off the back, I guess I'm not an idiot. I teach my students to be upstanding people, but when it comes to women, I like them to be a little bit naughty. On this date, I'm looking for the girl that's looking to take the initiative and just blow me away and just open me up to some new things. And whoever's the aggressor, I think we'll have a winner. A <laughs> Today we are having a snowy blizzard, just all kinds of snow outside going on in New York today. Since it was snowing outside, I decided to have the girls meet me in Melange. Melange is a fun place to hang out on a snowy day, to get some drinks, maybe get something to eat, and just relax and have good conversation. It's miserable outside today. The weather sucks, but that's not going to affect what I'm going to do today. I'm Kyra, but my friends call me Kiki. <laughs> hello, hello, sweetheart. Hi, how are you? I get a hug out of this too? Yeah. Hey, you later. Nice to meet you. Right. I thought she was cute. Um, I wasn't a favorite of the hairstyle, not that it was short, but it was very, very tight around her head. I'm a total risk taker, so everybody better be prepared today for a little bit of skin. I'm Kimberly and I like to shock people. We got number three just walking in, I don't even know. Hello. Hello, how are you? What's your name now? My name's Kimberly. Kimberly, Kelly. Hi. When I first saw Kelly, I thought, you know, he's really cute, you know, just my size. I'm very straightforward and to the point, so I plan on just letting the girls know, letting the guy know what I'm here for and what I'm about. I'm Khadija and I have a great bedside manner. Hello, we got Hi. number three. How you Khadija. doing? Khadija. Oh my goodness. This is funny. I'm Kelly. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. We have Kimberly and Kiki. Unbelievable. If we roll the dice and we're four for four, this is gonna be something. What I liked about Khadija is when she came in, she just looked like she was sparkling, kind of that Vanessa Williams kind of way with like the nice long hair. I usually stay in on days like this, but I'm out here, I'm gonna get crazy, I'm gonna have a good time, I'm ready to get started. I'm Keisha and I'm gonna be the eye candy today. Yeah, everybody's okay? Yeah. I know Hi. you had this in a special way or something. <sighs> no? All right. Okay. Hello. Hi, how you Number doing? Four. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? What's your name? Keisha. Oh my god. Another Keisha? Another Keisha. Oh my god. We're gonna stay. I'm Kelly. Okay. We're gonna stay in the family of Kay. Let's split it up. So I don't want anybody to be like left out. Let's, let's do it. Two up, two, two. Keisha, you come on down. Come on down. Oh wow. When I saw Keisha come in with the leather pants, I was loving life. All right. Um, let me see. We have different senses of like style going on. Yes. We have the, can you turn around? Let me see. We have the very nicely fit in leather. <laughs> nice fit again. And we got the jeans going on yeah. and we got the skirt. Yeah, now, that's a little too She's going to do a little bit for me. What you got What you got for me? Not much. Not much? Oh, wow. Oh, what do you think? No, I think she's got something going on I'm not here for you, baby. I'm that's not here for you. I think she's got something going on. What do you think? What do you think, what do you think I mean, Angie? I, where, where'd you come from? It's snowing. I mean... Oh, what did you? Oh, I don't why, understand. That's why you got the leg warmers, baby. And then you got the jacket with the fur and the fur. Leg warmers? I got leg warmers when I'm in the air. What's up with leg warmers? Leg warmers, leg warmers, warmers yeah. and fishnet, mama? Damn. I don't know. There's a lot going on. Like the outfit, I'm not going to lie, did kind of scare me a little bit. I don't know where she's going with that outfit, but if she goes anywhere at night, somebody's going to offer her some money. Um, <laughs> What do you do? Just ask. What do you do? For, I'm a marketing for student you and I model part-time. Mm -hmm. Oh, model part-time. Yeah. <laughs> what do you model for? Um, I've done some print modeling, runway. Print for? Yeah. Do you get paid? Yes, I do get paid. <laughs> Wait, that's why I said part-time. I okay. That's work, so it's part-time. Thank okay. you. The only modeling I think I can see Keisha in is in maternity modeling, okay? I'm a medical student. Oh, okay. We got the students everywhere. And yourself? Mm -hmm. I get to decide what you do. I'm, I'm a graduate student. I'm right. a master's, master's student at Columbia, mm -hmm. getting my master's in speech pathology, and um, I'm a speech therapist. And what do you do? <laughs> I'm a part-time slacker. A slacker? 
Why is that real? Why is that real? What? There's nothing to be proud about? No. I've got time to myself and time for my man. That's oh, oh, good. Kimberly, you really need to find something to do with yourself. Um, nobody wants to support a lazy ass woman sitting around doing nothing all day. So find yourself. <laughs> How does everybody? I'm in about big into exercise myself. Oh, I work um, out every day. Every day? I do aerobics. I don't lift or anything. No, but I run. I run every day. How about yourself? Every once in a while. Not that often. I used to be a track runner, but now I don't work out as often. Well. You run track? I used to run track. You run track? Yes. How about yourself? Do you uh, watch and look like you're trying to track? Yeah. What are you trying to do? Yeah, you look shocked. That's I you. know, like. Oh, well, I mean, I would never guess that she ran track, but. I was a track runner for five years. That's just my. Are you trying to say that she's Did overweight or that she she needs? To you're run? putting words in my mouth. I'm asking you. She has very big breasts. Yes. But as so a basketball player, you're really thin too. It's really sports bra. Like say that. <laughs> sports bra. Keisha has enough boobs to feed all the starving children in Africa. Okay. All of them. Where I'm going to is like, is anybody here wild a little bit? Like, mm -hmm. we just do like spontaneous things? Or just I am. Yeah. 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 Like, would somebody like run outside in the snow and be like, America, look at me in the snow and just fly? I've been, I've been the fly. Would you do it now? Yeah. Would you I'll do, do, it now. do it now. I'll be at the window with my yeah. head pressed up against in the, the window. Warm. Right? <laughs> I'll be watching. <laughs> I wanted to find out how crazy they were and I asked Kimberly to go outside. There was no way in the world I thought she was going to do it. I was just spitting that out there to see who grabbed it. It was cold, it was snowy, but that made no difference to me. I'm going to go out and show my stuff. This is crazy. It's what? freezing cold. She's gonna get pneumonia. What do y'all think? No, I'm gonna take care of her. You gotta stay out there in like a half hour. She's gonna put. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no. What do y'all think of what she's doing? I wouldn't do it. I think do that it? it's not cute. Oh. I don't no. even. No. She is on camera no. for the rest of her life. With exactly. That you don't think that's cute? How about no. you, Kiki? <laughs> she does not look cute right now. No. She looks it's cold. And she looks. Look at her. Oh, she uh -uh. looks like a little girl. No. <laughs> After I showed Kelly and the other girls a bit of the ass, so I you know, decided to take the show a little bit out of town and I flashed them from up top. I couldn't help but to scream when I saw it because I just really couldn't believe I was seeing two nipples. Kimberly has about this much class. That is not, that's not cool. That's not cute. I don't think he's spelling you, hun. Coming up, who will Kelly cut first? I think Kiki should be cut because she just definitely does not look like Kelly's type at all. Kelly should definitely send Kiki home because she's just an eyesore. I think Kim should definitely be cut. Kimberly has nothing left to offer. A round two, what is she going to do? Just spread her legs open? A limite. <laughs> Who do you think Kelly will eliminate first? Khadijah, Kiki, Kimberly, or Keisha? All right, it is about that time. Uh, I hate to do this, but somebody's going to have to weather the storm outside. And the first person at the end of round one that I picked to eliminate is Kiki. Can I ask why? I think it was a little much like with the stockings. It kind of scared me up <laughs> front a little bit. I just okay. figured that was for later, but up front it kind of scared me like, whoa. Okay. But they have a pleasure meeting. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, Kiki. See you. The outfit altogether, I really, I really didn't like it. It takes a really strong man to handle someone who's fashion conscious, so I guess he's too weak for me. Kiki, the next time you go out, I think you need to stay out of Madonna's closet and stick to your own. Kelly, I guess you just can't handle somebody who's fierce, so you know what? Have fun with your slackers. Round two, I'm taking the girls to FM. I wanted the girls to change because I had saw one look and I knew we were coming to a club, so I wanted to see their club look. And usually in clubs, people reveal a little more. Keisha's outfit was crazy. I loved it. It was showing boobs, just giving them to me, saying, here, Kelly, take them. All right, I just want to turn up the voltage a little bit because this is technically, I guess, my first date with everybody. So just like what you do on a first date. Um, Starters, do you kiss on the first date? No. You don't kiss It depends, it depends. It depends, depends on what? How the night went, the atmosphere, how I'm feeling. What do you think about that? Do you kiss on the first date? Or? 
kiss on the first date is is a almost a must. It's a must. <laughs> almost a must. <laughs> almost a must for the kiss on the first date because then you have to know you gotta know what you're working with. Would you kiss me right now? I kiss you right now. Yeah. Why yeah, she showed right you her press? I know, right? Like, what show me? Like, can you? Are we surprised? I was definitely not surprised when Kim was the first one to kiss Kelly. I really wouldn't even be surprised if she had sex with him right here in the club. Do you believe in kiss on the first Kelly, day? Kelly, I would love to kiss you, but I really do not kiss on the first day. I like to save a little something mm -hmm. for the next date. Save it for later? Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. May, may not be a later, but all right. I mean, mm, most of the out. times, Fair yes, there out. always is a later with me. I really don't see no big deal about kissing on the first date. A kiss is a kiss. I kiss my mother, I'll kiss my man. It's all good. A kiss is a good thing. All right, um, I'm just really trying to get to like the naughtiness of, you know, a woman. I know where yours is at. What is like your craziest sex story? Like the craziest? Thing? Craziest sex yeah. story. Mm, let's say I was in the ocean once with one of my ex-boyfriends and there were all these people sunbathing on the beach. Mm -hmm. We were in the ocean. And Nobody made a comment or? No one knew. No one knew. All what right. fun is that? That's not wild. Nobody knew. Nobody saw Do you. Do I want people to see this? Exactly. So that's, <laughs> that's not wild. You just had sex in the ocean. Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. What about your craziest, yeah, your craziest sex oh, situation? Must I, must I go into my craziest? Inquiring minds want to know. God. <laughs> I, um. You know, I've had some sexual experiences. I would rather not discuss my craziest, though. Uh, no? Come on. We can save that for another time. Okay, another time. You don't have to name names? Yes. I'm not for your enjoyment. I know you love it. Right now. You have to understand, right? Really? I think a woman who has a little bit of a mystery to her is definitely sexy, instead of a woman who puts it all out there like Kim. So, who's up for like this? I mean, we took it as far as kissing. Does that mean sex is out on the first date, or is it sex just... Sex is definitely <laughs> out on the first date. <laughs> no matter, even your level of comfortability? Um, definitely. It's definitely out. <laughs> definitely out? Yeah. You never have sex with someone you don't know. I gotta ask your opinion. What do you think about them? Does that make them approve again? Or? I don't know about the approve. Taboo for sex on the first day. STDs. But it, it has <laughs> hey, that's what condoms are made for. You can get so many STDs that's without right. having condoms. Maybe I know. <laughs> it's cool. med school. <laughs> you should really check yourself out. <laughs> oh, I do get myself checked out. Monthly. In oh. six months, I'm there. <laughs> So don't worry about me. Wow. Khadija, I'm really proud of you, what you've learned in medical school, but you need to keep that out on the first date. Bring it on. I love the hate. Fill me know. up. That's not hate. Yeah, that's, that's the hate. Yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah. think I'm easy and, and why do we free. Do I'm, I'm, I'm a free, so why do I'm we a free think spirit. That? I'm a free spirit. Because I flash. I don't care. I only talk to you flash because you have sex with people that you don't know. And that's not sex. Do you? Real. That's not sex. Are you there with me? You just you, you, All right, me. listen. Yeah. You can be a prude and do what you want to do. And I'm going to live my life be a free spirit and do what I want to do. I don't have sex with strangers, but I mean, things happen. You know what I'm saying? I have had one night stands, but things Maybe happen. those things don't just happen with me. I know Maybe because nobody wants to have a one night stand with you at all. Oh, baby, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to have a But who am I to judge? You're, you're right, you're not. Who am I to judge? I'm very surprised that Khadija wasn't passing out condoms on the first date. Uh, out of everybody here, who do you think I couldn't take home at? Just as far as overall. Overall? overall? I have to say Khadija. Me? Yeah. You can't take me home? Nah, because, I mean, appearance-wise, I think he could take you home. Of course. But attitude-wise, I, I think he curled that lip at one point at something his mother said. And I would never curl my lip at anything. I, I don't mother think you do it on purpose, but um, subconsciously you might let it I would curl my lip at something that, that you said, said, but never his mother. I really like Khadija because the way she curls her mouth up at everything I have to say, like I'm saying something wrong. Who will Kelly cut next? I actually think Keisha should be cut this round. She's really being secretive and not really adding too much to the day. I think Kelly has got to send home Khadija. She's got to go. Kelly should really cut both of them because frankly, neither one is as good as me. A limited day. <laughs> Who do you think Kelly will eliminate next? Khadija, Kimberly, or Keisha? Okay, we're at the end of round two. And again, somebody's got to be eliminated. And very interesting round. I got to find out, you know, a lot of things sexually about people. And I think the one thing is a little discouraging was you didn't want to give me a lot of information, Keisha. 
And so that's why this round I had to eliminate you. So it's just, and you look fine, but that's what makes it hard. Well, it's nice meeting you. Very nice to meet you. Very Bye. nice. Pleasure. Bye-bye. 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 Kelly eliminated me because I didn't put all my business out on the street, and frankly, I really wouldn't have done anything differently. You know what? Keisha looked great, and I really wanted to keep her, but right now we're dealing with the here and now, and she didn't want to give me too much. I think Keisha was holding it all back because she didn't want anybody to know what a real freak she really is. Obviously, Kelly wants the girl who he's going to get a little something-something with tonight, and with me, he's getting nothing-nothing. So for round three, we're gonna stay here in FM. Right now, I'm kinda stuck with the good girl and the bad girl, so I'm a little iffy on what direction I wanna go. All right, we're at round three. We're down to two lovely ladies. I'm very excited. Uh, when you change your clothes, all right, I didn't know if you left certain things on or on. Are you, are you still wearing underwear right now? Or? I, st- I still got you. You're very interested. Do you want to see? You, oh, see, you, see, you, you want to show you, us. You seem very interested in what I got on. I, I would like to see. It's funny. I still have the phone. Let me see, Let me see what you got. Let's see. see. If, I could, if I could do the bed. You want me to lift it up? <laughs> oh. Woo, still got the bed. Check it out. Check it out. She's wearing underwear, everybody. Kimberly bent right over, and that thong was still there, shining, looking just as good as this morning. I think Kim's an undercover stripper. <laughs> Don't curl that lip at me. Matter of fact, that looks good. Can you imitate? Uh, yes. Can you imitate? You want me to imitate? Just give me an imitation, Kimberly. OK, let me see an imitation. For me to do another impression of Kim, I would have to take my clothes off and look like a skank. And can you give an imitation? I'd give an imitation. No words. <laughs> there you go. I have no idea where Kim is getting me curling my lip. I only look at people crazy when they're acting crazy. If they wouldn't act crazy, I would never curl my lip. We're coming to the end. Does you girls, would you girls like to dance? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's just head out there. I'm gonna and, take uh, this from you. Thank you. on that dance floor. It was just me and Kelly. Kim definitely won tons of points on the dance floor. She could definitely get down. Once again, Kim decides to lift her shirt and show the world her bra. Not unexpected. The only thing Khadija could offer Kelly is some STD advice, some condoms, a good argument, and this. Would it be Kimberly or Khadija? Kelly's final cut is next. Um, we're at the end of the night. Uh, this is the tough part because I'm down to my two favorite women, obviously. Um, the two that's left. And I think tonight. Kim, you really did show all the spontaneity and everything I like, and that was awesome. On the other hand, Khadija is the med student, and she's somebody I can look for a little more further down the line. So in the end, I did stay with Khadija. Okay. All right. It's all right. Hope don't hate me. I'll hate you. Give you a hug. Thank you. Uh, so all right. I want a hug so too. Right. I want you. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe he chose that prude over me. I guess I was just too wild for him. He wants somebody laid back that he can charge. In the end, I end up picking you because you seemed like you were holding back just enough, but also giving up just enough, and not too much, not too little. To Kelly and Khadija, I hope you want to have a boring, fruitish time. Me, I'm not starving for a man. I'll go outside and catch me a new one. <laughs> <laughs>